Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Pixelmon. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've last uploaded this series. I've been putting in a lot of work on the server the last couple of days to make this episode extra special, so I hope you enjoy that, and now we will get into that recap to see what I've been doing these last couple of days. I got a Master Ball from the Shiny Lab. Shit Wonder Trade. I made Ultra Balls. Shit Wonder Trade. Put some lamps up. Shit Wonder Trade. Mining. Caught an Entei. Shit Wonder Trade. Made Charcoal. Shit Wonder Trade. Not so Shit Wonder Trade. Shit Wonder Trade. Decent Wonder Trade. Finally caught a Metagross. Shit Wonder Trade. Shit Wonder Trade. Shit Wonder Trade. You guessed it. Another one. At least this one's in the FaZe Clan. And if few more shit wonder trades, including one I will regret trading away in this episode. All right, that was your recap, and now it is time for comment feedback, where I read and respond to your comments on the last episode of Pixelmon. First comment from Skella, if business is going to speedies, I wish I had your job. Some of you may be confused by this comment. In my last episode of Pixelmon, I said that I was recording the episode before going on a business trip, so I apologized because it was a little rushed, or at least it felt rushed to me. And there was pictures and or videos that came out in the next couple of days or even the day that this was uploaded of me at Speedy's house and be like, hey, nice business trip, Joel, going to your friend's house. Uh, what I was actually doing is going to LA to play Titanfall 2, but I could not say that at the time. There's usually embargoes on when you're going to do something like that. If you're going to a location to play a game, you usually can't even say why you're going there. That was the situation. The embargo is now lifted and Titanfall 2 was fun. I look forward to editing the footage and getting that up on my channel either today or later this week. But I also stopped by Speedy's house because he lives in LA. So I can do business stuff and fun stuff in the same couple of days. Yeah. A more Pixelmon focused comment, Joel, learn Shadow Ball for your Jolteon. I actually saw that in five different comments, so I think next episode I'm going to look for a Shadow Ball TM, probably at Shadow Beats' house, and maybe teach that to Jolteon because I'm not fully happy with, what do I have on him? Quick Attack? Yeah, I think it's Thunder, Thunderbolt, Quick Attack, and Volt Switch, so maybe I will switch out Quick Attack for Shadow Ball. Emilio Francella, world download, it's in the description. Enjoy. That's it for comment feedback, guys. I appreciate your comments as always. Special shouts out to the guy who left the comment about KD that made me laugh, Kevin Durant. I know a lot of you who watch this series are probably not basketball fans. Actually, maybe you are, I shouldn't judge, but I'm a huge basketball fan, and my Detroit Pistons are playing the Cavaliers on December 23rd this year, and the Warriors on December 26th or that switch. Back-to-back -back huge games. I'm so excited. The schedule just came out. I have to go to at least one or both of those games. Ah, but that's not Pixelmon related. So let's get into some Pixelmon stuff right now. I'd like to start today's episode by reading you the dictionary definition of the word addiction. Addiction. The fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. When I hear the word addiction, I think of drug addiction, be it pills, Cocaine, heroin, methamphetamines, drugs are an issue, and drug addiction is bad. Alcohol addiction, also known as alcoholism, something you hear about. Sex addiction, something you hear about when someone cheats on another person and they say, hey, I can't do anything about it, I'm addicted to sex, what do you want me to do? It's a disease, or it's human nature, I don't know. But I want to show you what my addiction is. Ultra balls. Or maybe it's... Money. Fake money. Fake in-game money in this Minecraft Pixelmon mod. I made... How many Ultra Balls is that? What is 12 times 64, Siri? 768. 768 Ultra Balls. So today, I am going to sell 768 Ultra Balls for... What's 768 times 600, Siri? The answer is 460,800. I'm going to sell 768 Ultra Balls for 460,800 pokey currency coins. I don't know what we call the money in this game, but I have 100,042 pokey coins. I'll, I'll just call them pokey bucks. Let's call them pokey bucks for the purpose of this video. I have 100,042 pokey bucks, and I'm about to make 460,000 pokey bucks. Now, this is probably not even the most efficient method of making money in this server. If you go to the power plant and farm, which Deluxe 4 has done many times, you can make a lot of money. He has 999,999 Pokebucks, the maximum amount of money you can have on this server. I don't know how long it took him to do that, but it probably didn't take him as long as going down to my basement and getting acorns. Before you comment about me calling them acorn trees instead of apricorn trees, just know that it pains me to say the word apricorn 
because it's a stupid fucking word, so my subconscious mind just said acorn instead. Thanks. It's off the top of these trees, and I don't even have the most efficient acorn farms. I could have acorns planted in the ground, and I could walk over them. Then I would have one more row of acorns to get, and the whole process would be faster. I only have this many acorn trees. I could speed the whole thing up. I've been trying to become more efficient, and I still can only make 460,000 Pokebucks for, I'd say, about an hour of work in the real world. Because you have to wait for the acorns to grow. Actually, that's probably... I didn't even time it. I should have timed it. It's probably more like three hours worth of work. Between harvesting the acorns, cooking the acorns, making the lids, baking the lids, and putting all the Pokeballs together, that's maybe three hours worth of real-world time work. It might be more, it might be less. I wish I would have timed it now. I was also, during that time, cutting down trees and getting the apples off of those trees. So here's another addiction that we are about to go into full force today. A rare candy addiction. I'm not talking about pills. I'm talking about rare candy. I have, what is that, 137 apples? Yeah, 137 apples. Today we are going to make 137 rare candies. My Pokemon will be maxed out in terms of the levels they can be at. I think it maxes out at 100 unless I'm very, very stupid and do not know my Pixelmon server rules. So that's going to be fun. I'm also going to do a wonder trade real quick before I do anything else. I got to remember to do that. I have been getting terrible. Well, I shouldn't say I've been getting terrible wonder trades because I don't think my wonder trade luck has been great. And by great wonder trade luck, I mean getting a legendary. I've wonder traded maybe 15 times in the past couple of days, and I haven't gotten anything that I'm super excited about. I saved a Ditto and a Blaziken, and maybe this Clang that I'm about to wonder trade is amazing, but it, honestly, it's two gears, guys. How great could it be? It's two, it, they look like titties. They look like metal titties. I'm about to trade away some metal titties in the hopes of getting something better. Somebody in the comments is going to say, oh my god, Joel, Clang is a quasi-legendary. You cannot trade away Clang. He's a quasi-legendary. He's so powerful. And I don't know what accent that was, but that's the accent of the person in the comments who would say you don't trade away Clang because he's a quasi-legendary. Well, here's what I say to that. WT6 slash WT6. Confirm. And I got a Salamance. In return, a level 35 Salamance. There's a Salamance like across the trees that I saw as well. Nature. Meh. And what's the IVs? Long story short, we're doing another Salamance trade near the end of this episode because we're not happy with that. Today, I want to make a lot of money buy a lot of gold, buy a lot of EV raising items such as HP up, zinc, calcium, whatever. I can't remember their names, but I wrote down a shopping list of sorts and I'm going to fulfill that list. We are going to beat the remaining trainers around the islands. That part's going to be quick because I find fighting NPCs to be kind of boring. And then we're going to beat the master. So I hope you're excited to see that. I spend way too much time preparing for these episodes, and when I actually record them, I would like to do all the things I wanted to do, but as I'm thinking about it now, I think that's everything. So how are we going to start today? First, I need to make some space in my inventory because I am going to put a lot of things in here, and I will need to bring a lot of things back. I wish you could have a backpack of sorts but that is not available. So we will essentially put away everything besides potatoes. I can't think of anything else I would need with me on this journey. And then let's make a lot of Ultra Balls. All right, so that is all of the Ultra Balls I will be selling. I also forgot to mention that I'm using charcoal now. So this is a way for me to be 100% efficient in my profits. I don't know if that would be the term efficient. I don't know economics terms, but I'm making the most possible profit that I can by using charcoal because the last time I did this, I actually bought coal to smelt things. 
And that's stupid because I'm constantly growing trees and knocking them down for the purpose of getting apples, mostly. That's the thing that advances my goals in Pixelmon, is getting apples to create rare candies to level up my Pokemon faster. Which, you could argue it's not faster, but for some reason, I enjoy it. I'm an addict. I'm, I don't know, a lot of things. But I made charcoal out of the, look at how much wood I have. That's way too much wood. I've been using charcoal as a means to smelt things and power my mechanical anvils because that's efficient. I don't have to pay for charcoal. I can just slam on my desk some more. I can also just smelt the wood. That's the term, right? And then create charcoal and then use that charcoal to make more charcoal or pokeball lids, cooked apricorns, whatever. So I'm very happy that I thought to do that. And I'm very disappointed I didn't think to do that sooner. Hey, here's two things we're not going to do this episode. Build three bridges and do something with this glass box with a hound door in it for some reason. Right now, I should put my Gyarados down there. Maybe I'll get a ranch block when I'm at the store, but maybe not. Oh, before I leave for the store, I need to remember to sell these things. I decided I wanted to sell all of these TMs because I did not think I would have a use for them. Or I do not think I will have a use for them, rather, if I'm wrong. That sucks. If someone sees one of these being sold and wants to comment, Hey, Joel, you're dumb for selling that one. I understand. But I just feel I need to do it. I have duplicates of Blizzard and Defense Curls, so I will sell those as well. I want to make a lot of money, guys. Making money's fun. In Pixelmon, make some Pokebucks. So let's fly over to the Stow. The Stow. And sell some stuff. This will be fun. This might be the most fun part of Pixelmon for me. Making money. Is that sad? It probably is because it doesn't involve battling other players or battling NPCs. But I like to make the money. So let's go over here. Eat a potato. And we will remember that we have 100,042 Pokebucks at this time. Let's sell all of my TMs and see how much money we have after that. <laughs> So just off of TMs, I made 40,000 Pokebucks. That's not bad. But now we are about to make a whole lot more Pokebucks. Let's do it. How many Ultra Balls do I have to sell? 768. For a profit of, what did Siri say? I cannot remember. But we will sell... 768 for a profit of 460,800 Pokebucks. Yes, please. Bam! 600,000 Pokebucks. I have a lot of money to spend, and how do I want to spend it? First, for gold ingots. 330, is that more or less expensive than the last time I bought them? I know prices fluctuate. How many of those do I need? if I have 137 apples and want to make 137 rare candies. I need 137 times 8, which is 1,096 gold ingots divided by 64. I have 17 free slots, so I think I can buy that many. Let's multiply that by 64 because I can't remember the number I divided by. I need 1,096 because you put 8 around the apple to make the golden apple, and then you combine the sugar and the glowstone with the golden apple to make rare candies. So that seems right. I hope I can even buy 1,096 at a time. I might have to buy 9.99 and then whatever is after. Oh no, I could buy 1,096. Okay, cool. This is an expensive order, but I have a lot of money. 361, <laughs> that's so much. 361,680 pokey bucks worth of gold on this server. Bam. I, I am a true golden boy at this point. Look at all that gold. We will put the rest of that. Maybe I should... Oh, I should have brought a crafting table. Is there a crafting table nearby? I could just turn these into gold bucks and have more space to buy items. Like EV boosting items that I want to purchase upstairs. Where is the nearest crafting table? Y'all bitches got a crafting table? You nodded your head, but I don't see one. Ah... <sighs> Is there a crafting table in here? This is mine craft. The craft part is in the name. And damn, those are some small meowths. Let's do the most basic thing we can do in Minecraft. Break a block of wood, turn that wood into four planks, and make a crafting table. This is what you guys came to see. <laughs> Thank you.
So I have 121 gold blocks and seven ingots left over. That's a lot of gold. And I cannot wait to make those rare candies and level up my Pokemon. I know I will at least level my top five to max, and then we'll make some decisions about the next Pokemon I'm going to level to max. I might not even have that Pokemon at this time. Could be Metagross. Could be a couple of other Pokemon. I don't need anything on this level. Held items. Held items, no. TMs. Stones and power boosting items. Let's start up here. Get myself some potatoes. What are you selling? A ranch upgrade. Calcium. Ooh, calcium's actually expensive. All of this stuff is expensive. Whew, that is a lot. Okay, what do I need? How much calcium do I need? I have 239,162 Pokebucks. Calcium boosts special attack by 10 EVs for every use. So I have two Pokemon in mind that I want to max on special attack. Let's say I need about 10 calciums each for that. And then maybe a few left over if that doesn't fully max them. And then I'll give some to some other Pokemon. So what would 15 times 9,800 be? Probably more than I have, right? 15 times 9,800... 147,000, so that's a lot to spend on just calcium. Maybe I will just buy a maximum amount of 10 calcium at this time. So we will spend, come on, 98,000 on calcium, and I can get more later. I'd also like to get HP up and whatever boosts your speed. I cannot think of it at this time, but special attack speed and HP up are pretty much, it's not all I need, but in terms of EVs, those are my main focuses. And I forgive me if I'm wrong, I'm kind of a Pokemon noob as far as battling goes, but that is what is most helpful for most Pokemon. So I don't think there's anything else I want to buy at this time. I have 141,000 Pokebucks left over. I'll be back soon. Got some calcium and some gold. Where are you, ho -oh? Let's fly back home and craft the rarest of candies. You know what I didn't think about? I might not have enough glowstone. Let's, okay, I need to, actually, no, I definitely have enough glowstone because I only need 64 and 64, okay, yeah, I'm good. So let's break this gold back down, man. And that's a lot of gold, and we will commence making our golden apples. I'm dumb. Why didn't I just do this? Just put 64 in each spot. I, I'm sorry. So there's 137 golden apples. I will put the rest of my gold away in my not-so-secret chest. And let's make these candies. What is it? Golden apple, sugar, glowstone in some order? Yeah, 64 rare candies. Glowstone, golden apple, sugar, and more glowstone. Do I have more sugar? Sugar, apple, glowstone. Look at that. 137 rare candies. Let's rank up some Pokemon, shall we? I meant to buy Thunderstones when I was at the store, too. I might go back and grab a few before I head out on the town. I don't have any more in that area. I don't really need to do anything that involves Thunderstones, so I guess I actually don't need to buy those. Maybe I'll wait until between next episode and this episode to buy those. Now for the fun part. Let's juice these Pokemon. Why is it not consuming rare candies when I'm giving them rare candies? This looks like a hack. Guys, I swear I'm not hacking. You saw last episode, they were consumed. Maybe I just need to disconnect, and then we'll reconnect, and I won't have as many as I had. Yeah, there we go. Now they're consumed. Looked like I was cheating for a second. Okay. 
Natural Gift. The user draws power to attack by using its held berry. The berry determines its type and power. Recover is broken on the server as a move, so I will replace Recover with Natural Gift for now. I also have a Roost TM, so I could just replace Natural Gift with Roost to replace the broken Recover. I'm not sure if Natural Gift is great. It would be great to be able to do a different move type determined by a berry. Maybe I could throw in an electric type move or I don't know a fighting type is there a fighting type move Barry I don't know but I would assume roost would be better than natural gift I guess give me comment feedback I'm not going to change that between now and next episode when I go to the elite four island and we'll probably need stronger pokemon so are you level 100 yet ho no we have more work to do Calm Mind. The user quietly focuses its mind and calms its spirit to raise its special attack and special defense stats Let's give up on learning that. Sky Attack. A second turn attack move where critical hits land more easily. It may also make the target flinch. Is that not as good as Brave Bird? Well, it's a second turn attack move. So he has to fly up in the sky first. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Let's give up on learning Sky Attack. And ho is level 100. That's what his tongue looks like. So we will retrieve him. Kyogre. Come here, girl. Wait, girl? No, genderless. Why is it still happening? If I just give Kyogre all of this experience, by the time I... Okay, I don't know. Uh, Hydra Pump. That actually looks good. Should I replace Double Edge? No, I'll just give up on learning it for now, and then if... I should learn it. I will learn it. Let's just give the rest of these rare candies to Kyogre, and then it should even out and show me losing rare candies after I disconnect and reconnect. Man, this is a buzzkill. My whole plan was to just have a montage of me giving all the rare candies to my Pokemon really quickly, but I can't do that because I need to explain to you all that I'm not cheating. Whatever. We'll finish this by giving Suicune 20 rare candies Maybe learning some moves in the meantime. It seems like, yeah, Blizzard. Well, I already have a Blizzard TM, so I could relearn or just give Suicune my Blizzard TM, I guess. Uh, and take these rare candies. No, 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 no. Okay, I think I lost some rare candies in the process there by accidentally spamming at the end. But maybe I don't need all of those rare candies I have. Five level 100 Pokemon and a Salamance that hopefully can be Wonder Traded soon. How long until I can Wonder Trade Salamance? Caps Lock is on. Four more minutes, so I'll do that before I go fight people. That should be fun. Let's lock these babies away in the chest that can easily be found by my friends if they watch my videos, but they don't watch my videos, so it won't be a problem. And now people are going to comment, hey, go get those rare candies. But I'm going to move them before the next episode because I'm sneaky. So what I need to do is figure out what moves to learn for these Pokemon. I need to, oh, I have Calcium that I could give to, who do I want to give Calcium to? The problem with Jolteon, let me show you, slash Eevee's one. Jolteon is already maxed from Fighting, slash Eevee's two, and so is Venusaur. That's the argument against going to the power plant and fighting for money. It doesn't take EVs into account at all. You have to either boost your EVs before you go to the power plant, or you just have to give up getting the EVs that you would want for each Pokemon. So my logic was, I can make my money and rank up all my Pokemon without even really working on their EVs. Ho-Oh doesn't have any EVs boosted for the most part, 16%. And as you can see, Kyogre, 1%, slash EVs, 5%. I think Suicune's at 0 Oh, Oh, 7%. Whatever. So that's good. I can really mold those Pokemon how I want them to. Get the sand slash. Get the hell out of here. I can mold those Pokemon without having to fight for money. So that's another element of farming and selling that I like. But at the same time... That took a while. So I'm going to go over to the store. It's been one Minecraft day. See if there's anything there besides calcium at this point. And what else did I want to buy? Oh, Thunderstones. If there's Thunderstones there, I'll get some extra Thunderstones. And then we will Wonder Trade. And 
go get the rest of the badges I need to fight the master trainer of this island. I don't need the badges before I fight him, but I would like to have them. I'm all for doing things in a certain order. Stones, Thunderstone. Let's get crazy. It's by 25. I didn't even look at TMs last time I was here. I should have looked at TMs and... Yeah, you have the same stuff. I should have looked at TMs to see if there was anything. Is TMs down a level? Is there anything that I want in terms of TMs? Uh, I already have Roost, so I don't need that. Off the top of my head, I didn't want any of those other moves. And I don't think I want any of these moves. Maybe Dragon Breath. No, I'm good. So we will, I guess, leave because Iron is the thing I could buy and thunderstones is there any other reason i came over here i forget things very easily and when i'm editing i'll say joel you stupid idiot you went to the store for a different reason besides just getting stones and ev boosting items there has to be some other reason i went to the store maybe that's the only reason i went to the store i can't think at this point i guess we'll wonder trade one more time one more time we're gonna want to trade Salamance, oh yeah. He's getting out of my lineup, slash WT6. Confirm. Piplup. How great is my Wonder Trade luck, guys? Should Metagross... Oh, hey, I didn't even talk about Entei. Entei could be the final slot in my lineup, but... I don't know. I could trade Entei for what at the Shiny Lab? I think a Raikou? Yeah. And I already have Jolteon. So, I don't know. That sixth slot is still bothering me. I don't have the... I, it's going to be a bunch of Pokemon. I could just have it be Gyarados and then Metagross. But I don't know. Don't know, guys. I, it has to be something. Stupid Mudkip, Piplup, bullshit, whatever. Uh, let's go to the Shiny Lab, maybe? Thanks to everyone still watching and supporting the series. I'm sorry that I don't get them out as often as I should. But I have a lot of fun not recording the videos, honestly, is the most fun part. Getting ready to record the videos, just hanging out on the server, listening to podcasts, talking to my friends in TeamSpeak. That's the fun part. And then you have to remember that I'm doing this for a reason. I'm doing this because people watch it. And I like to be entertaining and share what I'm doing with you guys on my channel. August 14th. Oh, so someone got it last night, huh? I thought it was August 15th that it was processing. Early bird gets the worm. There's new shiny trades. I'm sure you've seen them on someone else's channel at this point. Nothing that I can really do. Do I still have... I think I had a Levani. A Levani. Did I trade that away? I'm going to be so upset if I traded that away during my whole Wonder Trade spree. I think I did. Damn it, I could have got a Steelix, which isn't the biggest deal in the world, but it would have been nice. Oh, well. All right, let's get out of here and get some badges. Do the boring stuff so we can get to the fun stuff, like battling the master trainer of the island. Okay, so I have the desert badge, there's no mesa badge, I got the jungle badge, or I guess the forest badge it's called, I got the marsh badge, there's a taiga badge, I think, or maybe you just fight the master in the taiga, I don't know if there's a separate taiga badge, an ice badge, a flower forest badge, and I don't even think there's other biomes, a savanna badge, is there a savanna badge? Is Savannah Badge the name of a girl I went to high school with? I think so. Maybe it was Savannah... Vadge? Sidearms is here now, so let's see what badges I don't have. Soul Badge, Balance Badge, Quake Badge, Vol I have Volcano Badge, Glacier Badge, Zephyr Badge, Legend... Okay, so I need Balance, Soul, Quake, and Glacier? Is that right? This is going to be the longest episode of Pixelmon I have recorded. But once I cut it down, it should be about the length of a normal episode on my channel. But in terms of me looking for gems and collecting all the badges, then going to fight the master, 
it's probably going to be a two-hour recording. We are at 52 minutes right now. Okay, this has to be it. I've flown around this damn island three times. He has the Ash Ketchum uniform on, so he's going to give me a badge. Right? Bro? Ah, you found me. I prefer the quiet time out here to become one with my Pokemon. Well fought. You could well beat the legendary trainer and earn the legend badge. Only one other in the land ever has earned the right to hold it. I got the soul badge. I got soul, baby, because I'm super bad. I know that it wasn't smart to use a Mimasaur that whole battle against other leaf-type Pokemon for the most part, but he already has his EVs max, so there's nothing I can do about that. I'd like to save the Pokemon that I don't have their EVs completely maxed on for battles against my friends after I max their EVs, if that makes sense. I can probably easily get all of the other gym badges without using any Pokemon besides Metagross, Venusaur, and Jolteon. There was something in my throat there. One badge down, three to go. All right, Ice Gym. To get my Glacier badge, I think. Ooh, Slidey Ice. Hey, what's up, bro? You want a battle? Who should I send out? I guess I'll go with Jolteon, just because I can Volt Switch if things aren't going well. I've been waiting for a challenger for some time. Not many people make it out here. Hey, that was easy. Glacier Badge. Nice, so we have two out of the four completed for the day. Okay, we're in the savannah now, ready to take on the savannah master. Look at these cute little growlers around here. They so cute. Level one. I know he's not level one, but it says level one. I guess we'll use Jolteon again because whatever. Hey, balance badge. Okay, so we have three out of the four badges we need that I wanted to collect before going to fight the master of the island, the legend of the whole region. I guess region, that's what I should say, the legend of the region. And I don't specifically need them to fight him. I could just go fight him right now, but I want them because I want to complete my journey before I complete my journey. I'm sorry, I don't know how to speak. All right, so this last trainer is annoying as hell to find. I'm in the taiga right now. The Kendall Jenner, no, Kylie Jenner's boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, who knows. And I actually found this master about a month ago. Shadow could not find him. Shadow lives in the taiga, for those of you who don't understand that reference. And he was like, I've been living here for a while. I don't know where he is. So I was flying around here randomly, and I found him right around this area. And then I'm flying around today trying to get my final badge before my battle with the legendary leader of the region, whatever. And I'm like, hey, he was here. Where is he now? Sidearms alerts me that he is now underground because Shadow put him underground for some reason. Can't wait to watch that episode and see what the reason is. Is he down here? Yeah. <laughs> so he put him in the ground. I, whatever. Let's get this final badge and go fight the legendary leader of the region guy, whatever. All right, I got the Zephyr badge. I didn't want to have to use any Pokemon besides Jolteon, Mimasaur or the Metagross that I grabbed a couple of days ago, but I had to bust out Kyogre there at the end because I, I can't remember what Pokemon I lost my Jolteon and Mimasaur to. I'm not focusing a lot on the chess move aspect of battling, as you can tell when I'm just battling these NPCs, and I'll lose a battle because I'm not effective against one particular type of Pokemon. I'm not really paying attention to it. 
And honestly, oh, actually, I do want to kill this Snorlax really quickly. What can I kill? I'll just kill him with a Kyogre. He's going to drop me some apples, and then I'll have more rare candies. Addict, addict, addict. One ice beam to the chest. Boom, he's dead. No, what? Maybe let's scald him. Okay, two apples. What a sweetheart. And I don't remember what I was saying, but yeah, basically... I need to focus more when I'm battling the legendary trainer. I will go balls to the wall all out. Break that chicken egg. How the hell did I get in here? Please let me out. Let's heal my Pokemon. And the legendary trainer is very nearby. He is in a cave across the water here. But I'm sure many of you have seen all of my friends almost at this point. How many of my friends have fought him? Three? Four? I know not all of my friends, but there, okay, let me go in the cave here. There was originally four Master Balls in here, and now there's none! Oh, there was one the other day. Who took it? Who took the last Master Ball? I was excited to get it, but I already have a Master Ball, so I don't need another one. I'm fine with that. Let's battle the Legendary Trainer. Mewtwo. Legendary Trainer. Suh, dude, I am the Legendary Trainer for this region. Beat me, and you will be recognized as my equal. Beware, though, my Pokemon's strength is never seen before. Mewtwo is exerting its pressure. I really need to focus for this battle. Nice. Paralyzing Mewtwo at the start is a good way to start. This should be easy. End with a quick attack? Okay. Rayquaza. Should I Volt Switch to Ho-Oh? Maybe I will, since I want to be tactical. Let's bring out Ho-Oh and hit him with a Sacred Fire. He's burned. And an Earthquake. That was stupid. Let's bring Jolteon back out. He was having a good run. <laughs> hit him with a Thunder. And Kyogre. This should be fun and very easy. Thunderbolt. Please don't kill me. Okay. Ho ho! Also, Jolteon will kick his ass. Lugia. I should be able to kick his ass pretty easily. Yeah, super effective. He's a flying type. He's like a flying water, ice, whatever type. He has a little bit left. Let's send out Metagross. Get him a hell of a lot of XP. Yeah, he's going to get destroyed right here, though, by Groudon. Uh, I'll just fight him to the end. The bitter end. Mimasaur. Petal Dance. I was not paying attention. I should not have used Mimasaur there. Let's Scald Groudon. And... Aurora Beam. Fuck. Yes! Okay. I got 70,000 Poke Dollars. That's what they're called, Poke Dollars. I don't know what I was calling them. Oh, Poke Bucks is like slang, it's good. You got 70,000 Poke Dollars for defeating the Legendary Trainer. That was close, guys. I'm sorry if my battling made you cringe. I kind of know what's effective, but I also kind of don't. So I got a Legend Badge as well as an Orb. So I can get one of the Legendary Birds if I want. What's this? Is this a... So that's an ice shrine, right? And a fire shrine and a st static shrine. I don't know if it's called ice and fire, but yeah. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno from one of those shrines. If I want that to be my sixth slot, which maybe I do. Maybe we'll do that next episode. I'm going to get the... Let me get out of here. I'm going to get the hell out of here, go home, and then we will end the episode. Ah, shit. Okay. Let's cook some potatoes. You know what I should have done before that battle? I should have put... EXP shares on all of my Pokemon so I could rank up that sixth slot or would you just put an EXP share on the sixth slot? I'm not entirely sure, but I forgot to do that. I didn't need to use any revives or anything, so that was nice. It did take me down to my last Pokemon. I was trying to go a natural, and I guess it ended up working out in the end, but it was also kind of a dumb thing to do, so okay. One more badge here. Balance badge over there. And the Legend Badge. So what what is this badge for I, again? I can't remember. What is this? The Beacon Badge? I can't remember why I have that. Maybe I should watch my episodes. So I have two more spots. 
I think there will be four Elite Four badges, maybe five. I could put one, two, three. Yeah, so I still got some places I can put things in my Reflection Hall. Need to do something down here. Let's do a Wonder Trade to end the episode. Luck be a lady tonight. Maybe I'll get something better than a Piplup to end things. There's one Legendary in the pool. Slash WT6 slash WT6 confirm. Scully. Heed. Okay. Well, Joel, he's a quasi-legendary. Whatever. Uh, he's not. Um, yeah. I guess we're gonna end it there, everyone. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're excited for me to go to the Elite Four Island next episode. Maybe you're not because you've seen it on someone else's channel. I'm just enjoying doing this myself. What else can we do? Build a bridge. Put a Gyarados down in that tank. Breed actually face my friends build a gym there's a whole lot of things i can still do on pixelmon i'm not bored yet and i hope you are not bored either thank you for watching and until next time goodbye <laughs>